again I'm going to start with the darks this is a little bit of a reference photo but I'm going to start with the darks underneath and I'm going to work my way up to where the highlights are and the fluffiness of the clouds it doesn't have to be perfect it's your idea of a cloud the fluffiness it doesn't have to be exactly in the right place you're just having a feeling of clouds Just getting a bit of depth, first of all. This is just my guide through, showing me where I need to, just little marks showing me where I need to go. And even though there's not a lot of colour in here, I still like to add the hints of colour to it, the purples, the blues. And I'm going to add a little bit of warmth to it. Just make some some parts of it look forward. I try and hold off on blending too much until I get to the end. These are just my little marks to know where I want the, the story to go. cleaning it off before I add some white just on a bit of paper towel and now I'm just going to start getting the shape little swirly in some parts and keeping some unblended on the edges. At the moment I've just put all the darks in here, I've added the next tone and now I've found a bit of the highlight here but I'm also adding in another little bit of uh, darker tone in between the clouds here but yes mainly working from dark to light. I just squeeze the sponge together sometimes to get a different effect.
sometimes if I want to keep this dark in here I can just isolate this area with a little bit of fixative so that it won't blend. So I have again a bit of a map down of where I'm going to go and now is where, where I'm going to refine all the little edges and, and really push the white in so you get those bright highlights. I'm not blending, I'm, I'm basically pushing it in. And again in the other way I might flip it upside down so that I can show you how I work in another direction by capturing all these edges with a darker blue. So I might do that now. One of the best things about this medium of, is how forgiving it is. So even if I don't add enough depth or blue to it at the start, I can add it at any stage. And working upside down helps silence part of my brain that's thinking about it too much as being in clouds. At the moment I'm just thinking about the edge here. And I'll blend this in later but I'm just finding the edge. And I'll make the white pop out over the top. Now I'm just building up the highlights and because I had my little map there of where to go I can confidently push the white into the areas where I want it to go and I've got the darker bit on the background which is making these pop out. I want to blend it without losing too much of the layers underneath. And sometimes with clouds you just want a little bit of movement. Turning a little bit more dark in some areas. change the tool so that I can push it in because I was pulling up a little bit of the background and I really want these highlights.
sometimes I knock a little bit of the colour off on a piece of paper towel just so I want a little hint of it. So I hope this will just give you an idea of how I get started. I would con I'm going to continue along and add a little bit more depth along here following along these lines and just adding more shape to some of the clouds but this is the idea that I'm after the darks underneath with the highlight over the top and the depth in the background so that these highlights stand out 